Hello. Don't forget to like and subscribe before starting the video. Who is Jimmy Carter? Jimmy Carter served as the 39th President of the United States, from 1977 to 1981. He was born in 1924 in Plains, Georgia, and grew up on a farm. After serving in the Navy during World War II, Carter returned to Georgia and began his political career as a state senator. He later served as governor of Georgia before being elected president in 1976. One of Carter's most notable achievements as president was his role in brokering the Camp David Accords between Israel and Egypt in 1978. This historic agreement resulted in a peace treaty between the two countries and is widely considered one of the most significant diplomatic achievements of the 20th century. Carter's efforts at Camp David demonstrated his commitment to promoting peace and resolving conflicts through negotiation and diplomacy. In addition to his work on the Camp David Accords, Carter's presidency was marked by a number of other notable achievements, including the establishment of the Department of Energy, the passage of the Civil Service Reform Act, and the creation of the Superfund program to clean up toxic waste sites. However, Carter also faced significant challenges during his presidency, including the Iranian Revolution and the resulting hostage crisis, as well as economic troubles at home. Overall, Jimmy Carter's presidency was marked by a commitment to promoting peace, human rights, and environmental protection. His efforts at Camp David to broker peace between Israel and Egypt remain one of his most enduring legacies and a testament to his diplomatic skill and commitment to resolving conflicts peacefully. Jimmy Carter's early life was shaped by his upbringing in rural Georgia, where he was raised on a peanut farm. He attended public schools in Plains, Georgia, before attending Georgia Southwestern College and the Georgia Institute of Technology. After completing his education, Carter joined the Navy and served on submarines during World War II. He was eventually honorably discharged and returned to Georgia to take over his family's peanut farm. Carter's political career began in the early 1960s, when he was elected to the Georgia State Senate. He quickly made a name for himself as a reformer, pushing for civil rights and government transparency. In 1970, Carter successfully ran for governor of Georgia, campaigning on a platform of progressive reform and opposition to racial segregation. As governor, Carter made significant strides in education reform, prison reform, and environmental protection. In 1976, Carter announced his candidacy for President of the United States, running as a Washington outsider and promising to bring a new approach to government. He won the Democratic nomination and faced off against incumbent President Gerald Ford in the general election. Despite being considered an underdog, Carter was able to win a narrow victory, thanks in part to his appeal to rural and working-class voters. Carter's presidency was marked by some significant accomplishments, but also some notable challenges, including an ongoing energy crisis, rising inflation, and the Iran hostage crisis. He ultimately lost his bid for re-election in 1980 to Ronald Reagan, but his legacy as a reformer and advocate for peace and human rights has endured. In addition to his political career, Carter has remained active in public service, through his work with the Carter Center and his advocacy for various causes, including Habitat for Humanity, Racial Equality, and Environmental Protection. Jimmy Carter's presidency was marked by a number of significant events and policies that had a lasting impact on the country and the world. One of the most notable events of Carter's presidency was the Iran hostage crisis, which began in November 1979 when a group of Iranian militants stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran and took 52 Americans hostage. Carter's response to the crisis, including the failed rescue attempt in 1980, was widely criticized, and the hostages were not released until January 1981, shortly after Carter left office. Another major event of Carter's presidency was the Three Mile Island nuclear accident, which occurred in Pennsylvania in March 1979. The incident, which resulted in a partial meltdown of a nuclear reactor, highlighted the potential dangers of nuclear energy and led to increased safety regulations for nuclear power plants. Carter's presidency was also marked by an ongoing energy crisis, as the country struggled with rising oil prices and a dependence on foreign oil. Carter made energy policy a priority of his administration, pushing for conservation measures and the development of alternative energy sources, such as solar and wind power. 
He also established the Department of Energy in 1977 to oversee energy policy and research. In terms of foreign policy, Carter emphasized the promotion of human rights and democracy around the world. He made this a cornerstone of his foreign policy, criticizing countries with poor human rights records and providing aid to those who promoted democratic values. Carter's commitment to human rights was also evident in his efforts to promote peace in the Middle East, most notably through his role in brokering the Camp David Accords between Israel and Egypt in 1978. Despite these accomplishments, Carter's presidency was not without its criticisms. One of the most common criticisms of Carter was his perceived lack of charisma and leadership. Some critics felt that Carter was too reserved and cautious in his approach to governing, and that he failed to inspire confidence in the American people. Additionally, his handling of the economy was widely criticized, as inflation and unemployment rates remained high throughout his presidency. Overall, Jimmy Carter's presidency was a time of significant events and policies that continue to shape the country and the world today. While he faced a number of challenges and criticisms, his commitment to human rights and peace has earned him a place in history as a principled leader and advocate for change. After leaving office, Jimmy Carter continued his lifelong commitment to public service and humanitarian work. He founded the Carter Center in 1982, a non-profit organization focused on promoting peace, democracy, and human rights around the world. Through the Carter Center, he has worked to resolve conflicts, monitor elections, and eradicate diseases, such as Guinea worm disease. In addition to his work with the Carter Center, Carter has been a vocal advocate for peace and democracy around the world. He has been involved in numerous diplomatic missions and negotiations, including efforts to resolve conflicts in North Korea, Sudan, and Venezuela. Carter's advocacy for human rights and democracy has earned him a number of awards and honors, including the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002. Overall, Jimmy Carter's post-presidency has been characterized by a continued commitment to public service and humanitarian work. His dedication to promoting peace and democracy around the world has made a significant impact and has earned him respect and admiration from people around the globe. Jimmy Carter's legacy and impact on American politics and the world are significant and far-reaching. As the 39th President of the United States, he faced a number of challenges, but his commitment to human rights, peace, and democracy has had a lasting impact. One of Carter's most enduring legacies is his advocacy for human rights and democracy around the world. His emphasis on these values helped to shape American foreign policy and has inspired generations of politicians and activists. Additionally, his work with the Carter Center has made a significant impact in resolving conflicts, monitoring elections, and promoting public health. Carter's presidency also had a lasting impact on American politics. His focus on energy policy, environmental protection, and government accountability helped to shape subsequent policies and legislation. His presidency also marked a turning point in American politics, as the country began to shift away from the conservatism of the 1970s and towards a more progressive and socially conscious approach. Overall, Jimmy Carter's place in history is secure as a principled leader and advocate for change. His ongoing relevance today is evident in the continued influence of his work and values, as well as the numerous awards and honors he has received. As we continue to face challenges and uncertainty in our world, Carter's commitment to peace, democracy, and human rights serves as a reminder of what is possible when we work together for the common good. In conclusion, this video has explored the life, presidency, and legacy of Jimmy Carter, the 39th President of the United States. We have discussed his early life and career, his major achievements and policies during his presidency, his post-presidential work, and his ongoing relevance and impact on American politics and the world. As we have seen, Jimmy Carter's commitment to human rights, peace, and democracy has made a significant impact and his legacy continues to inspire and influence politicians and activists today. I encourage viewers to learn more about Jimmy Carter and his contributions to American politics and the world and to consider how his values and principles can continue to shape our collective future. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.